With the world's population about to hit 9 billion people and our resources under tremendous strain, the United Nations has a possible solution for future nutrition, insects. Joining us in the AM Kitchen to show us how versatile insect protein can be, the co-founder of Sifu Foods, Lee Kadesky, and Chef Mark Wilson. And welcome to you both for coming you. in. You know, we've been joking about it over the course of the morning because after all, insects, we now, eating insects, we associate with reality shows. This is actually a sustainable solution. Yeah, we're, we're really refining what insect eating can be and turning it into forms that really appeal to people and look like foods that they're really comfortable with. Well, okay, so, Chef, you've developed a couple of pasta sauces and you, you know, got... On, on the stove here, and it smells good. Yeah, it smells good and actually tastes like real bolognese sauce. So tell me where, how you get from crickets and mealworms to that, <laughs> or whatever, that is, what is that? So that's uh, a product, that's yeah. a product we create, we call it uh, textured insect protein, um, or sometimes we call it Sifu. It's uh, a way to extract and restructure the proteins in insects, kind of like making cheese, okay. just with a, a very different starting material. Has that been cooked yet? That is cooked and ready to eat, but we like to fry it just to give it a little more flavor. So uh, lots of protein? Lots of protein, same amount of protein as beef, uh, plus added nutritionals, about a quarter of the saturated fat, and with crickets, we get about double the vitamin B12, which is really important. B12 crickets. Oh, yeah. Really, really high. Double what you have in beef. And that's really important for maintaining energy levels, especially for vegetarians and people who eat meat sparingly. Were you skeptical at all at first to be, I mean, as a chef? Because <laughs> yeah. you create lovely food. Yeah, but to me, it's like if you're working with uh, something like crocodile, it, it, you know, it's something unusual. Yes. You know, you've got to get your head around, so can I try it's, that? It's psychological. Exactly. But once you get your head around it, it tastes exactly like ground beef in this, in this application. So, uh, so tell me what's, what's in these sauces that you've got going. So basically, like, do you, how, exactly how you'd make it at home, mm -hmm. you'd, you'd use, you know, like a fresh mirepoix, celery, carrots, onion, fresh basil, fresh tomatoes, and then the seafood product, and that's it. And how much of that product would go into a serve, like a, a I don't know, a, a bowl of, I guess a pot? Of sauce. Right. It's about 15% of, mm -hmm. of that uh, insect protein, and we're able to get five grams of protein per serving, the same that you would get in a beef sauce, but again, less saturated fat and more vitamin B12. And where are all these things coming from? <laughs> so we, we often get that question. We source our insects from a variety of farms. They're all, for the most part, locally grown, and they're purpose grown for human consumption under stringent health and safety standards. Oh, so you, there's all kinds of standards already in place before, as they're grown, like oh, yeah. before the harvest. Before the harvest, we, we only source from food grade farms. You're going to be debuting some of this at the Green... At the Green Living Show this weekend, Friday to Sunday, at the Metro Toronto Convention <laughs> Centre. Mm -hmm. We'll be there under the Big Mars tent right when you enter, and we'll be inviting people to take the Sustainable Protein Challenge. What's, a, what, what's the reaction been when people taste your stuff or when they... I think once you get in your mind around the idea of trying something unusual, mm -hmm. uh, the flavour and the taste and the aroma is exactly like it would be for ground beef. Do you have a favourite? <laughs> uh, my favourite is maybe actually... We should, maybe we should put some together. Sure, yeah. Okay. Why don't you do that? Sure. So your favorite is what? My favorite is probably the mealworms. Um, we actually manufacture this from a range of different insects. Yeah. We've worked with five so far, but there's 2,000 that are known to be edible. And every one of those five has a different flavor, texture, and color. Seriously? So, oh, yeah. And there's some that aren't edible then? Well, this is just or, what's documented. Okay, the so real what numbers, you know about. What we know about. The real number is probably closer to 2 million. Isn't that amazing? And with the United Nations and all kinds of work going on, yours is not the only company, I would think. Like, there's people that are starting to cotton yeah. onto this as a product to produce. Oh, yeah. There's, I mean, there's never been a better time. Consumers have never been more aware and excited about these products. And with that, uh, businesses have been popping up that have been really trying to innovate okay. and create new exciting products out of insects that deliver great protein and are highly sustainable. Wow. This is, um, and so you're just going to toss that? And, yeah, and you just, know? just like how you would at home. Okay.